On your journey to the promised land, never let down your guard. You know, the people of Israel troubled Egypt so much with the plagues that Moses brought to the point that Pharaoh said, okay, you guys can go worship your God. I'm letting you go freely. And they moved on. But do you know halfway or probably close to the Red Sea, let me put it that way, Pharaoh changed his mind and sent for soldiers and chariots and horsemen. Go bring them back. We need them back as slaves. And they pursued after the people of Israel. The same happens in the life of so many people. They start worrying, they start praying, they fight the enemy, they demand freedom from Pharaoh. And a point comes when there is a little leeway or opening where they feel like, ah, oh, thank God, it's like the battle is a bit over. But they're not yet at the promised land and they let down their guard. You find out that as they take two, three steps, the enemy comes back again and circles them and brings them back to Egypt, back to square one. Why? Because they let down their guard and because they trusted the word of the enemy. On your journey to the promised land, never trust the word of the enemy. And that you found a little liberty does not mean you should let down your guards. Because until you cross over, you are not yet there. Keep praying, keep worrying. Victory is at the gates.